So, what's happening at Lightwing being the first week of May 2013? Let's have a look around the workshop because I spend far too much time to sit in. Our showroom. Quick look around. We have to clean these aircraft daily because they get bugs on them, which uh, is an unfortunate thing. A fabulous statue here. Is it a statue or a sculpture by Foot Young? Made out of epoxy. You wouldn't think so. Isn't that lovely? Ah, walk this way. Variable pitch propeller. Marvel. Our electric car. The roadie is happening. Uh, front, not quite secured yet. But uh, windscreen wiper. Self-parking windscreen wiper. You wouldn't read about how hard that can be for a one-off car manufacturer or a wannabe car manufacturer. But nevertheless, it all works. Front end suspension. Now we are continuing to work on this suspension to create a rolling effect for the, uh, for the front of the car. So the car rolls into a corner rather than rolling out of a corner, as many cars do. So we have all that built in there and we continue to work on that. We are, however, revamping the rear end and the motor. We currently have a motor inside there, uh, which is an electric motor, um, and it's not big enough. It's only 10 horsepower, which is miserly. However, 10 horsepower does get this car going along at about 50, uh, 50 kilometres an hour, which is pretty good for a 10 horsepower motor. My lawnmower has a bigger motor than that. So but what we're going to do uh, with the help of John from a company called Catavolt in Newcastle is we will be fitting a hub motor to the rear axle there. So the whole motor and disc brake and suspension system will be uh, a bolt on to the rear of the car. So the car will consist of a top and a bottom fiberglass shell and a rear end uh, containing the motor disc brake, etc. And a front end containing the roll thing that I talked about a minute ago. And uh, so it'll be a very simple vehicle to build, hopefully. Which it has to be if we're going to make it. It has to be very simple. So not much else going on in our workshop other than a conglomerate of aeroplanes. kit aircraft, the front one is the four seat kit uh, and the rear one is two seat SP2000 kit which is ready to go as a quick build kit. So just have a quick look inside that because we have a gentleman in Western Australia who's very keen on this aircraft so just have a look in there, all ready to go, covered. Uh, just pan around to the front to the brakes and so on there and you can see all the, the adjustable pedals are fitted the interior is uh, ready to receive the dashboard the two control sticks there are all fitted and uh, so she's basically ready to have the wings put on the wings are somewhere around here in racks uh, next to the aircraft here you can see the wings So that's, uh, there is another one, naturally, as you would expect, there will be two, uh, but there are two wings and the tail planer is ready to go in there. So it's a, a quick build kit, we'll have a, there's the other wing down there, so we'll have a, just a quick look at the motor for this, which is a Rotax motor, and this motor's done about 80 hours flying, and we propose that uh, quite soon we will walk this way, we will fit this motor to the aircraft and uh, get it running prior to its uh, prior to handing it over to any prospective customer. It's uh, sealed up and it's been decommissioned so we will have to fit the exhaust system um, but uh, that will be bolted onto the, onto the airframe and we'll start it and run it but it's all ready to go. Oil system's there fuel system's ready to hook up, so uh, a very good motor. 
912 ULS, 100 horsepower, uh, and great value at the package price of 59,900 or thereabouts. That's engine and airframe, quick build airframe kit. Now that's a discount of about $20,000. So that's a substantial discount. But as you can see, we're really strapped for space. And so uh, that's a, a clearance price. Also, we have our four seater here. Now we don't have an engine for that at this time, but uh, as you can see, the windscreen's fitted just like the two seat kit and uh, she's ready to uh, ready for a new owner. Okay, that's about it for what's happening at Lightwing today. Um, keep an eye on our website for next month's uh, quick walk around the fair. Oh, just behind you here, just swing around, and we have our pocket rocket waiting a new owner. That's our, our single seat, the only single seat aircraft we ever built. Uh, built in about 1990 something, maybe 1989, um, and a little single seater, real cute little plane. She's been used for mustering all her life and has worn out many engines and probably earned close to a million dollars for its owner um, doing uh, contract spotting work and things of that nature. Registered 19 as an amateur built um, and uh, cute little short field aeroplane with uh, powered by the Rotax 582 two-stroke. Great little plane. See you next month.